So we'll, we jump up to, oh my gosh, 65 FPS. Holy crap. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be looking at NVIDIA DLSS inside of Tarkov. So I wanted to run through a couple instances of using NVIDIA DLSS really quick. Uh, here's like the little description that they have in game, which is NVIDIA DLSS uses AI super resolution to provide the highest possible frame rate at maximum graphics settings. Now, if we look at DLSS and click on it, you'll have the off quality, balance, performance, and ultra performance. Ultra performance is grayed out because that is made for 4K. Performance will be not the best looking quality. Balanced will be decent looking. Uh, and it'll give you a little less FPS. And then of course, quality will be giving you the best bang for your buck. But I guess we'll go check that out right now. Alrighty, we loaded into an offline raid and to keep a note, offline raids usually are way more CPU intensive, especially without scavs. And to note on the side of the screen here, we do have the GPU utilization screen inside of Task Manager running. Uh, I'm also recording, so you can clearly see that my video encoder is running at 40%. Uh, when I'm recording uh, through OBS off of my uh, RTX card. So with that in mind, uh, we're running around 90 FPS. Let's just kind of stop here at this train, kind of keep a decent eye on maybe some little things off in the distance, some things that are close by that you can clearly see. Uh, there we go, I'll turn over so you can see little textures on side of the gas container. We can see uh, a lot of good detail uh, when it comes to the graphics settings that I have right now, and that is with TAA on. Uh, it is a little softer like we always have seen. If we go down to like FXAA, this is when you'll start seeing things a lot more sharp, especially in the moving trees. You can see the trees have gone pretty bad. And then especially around the gun detailing, it's just like, it looks incredibly sharp. So we'll go and give you the experience of seeing NVIDIA DLSS with quality. As you can see, the textures are a little bit sharper. So along those areas along the gun where you were able to see a little more sharpness with FXAA on, uh, it's it's not as blurred out as you would see with TAA in aliasing. You can also see that my GPU utilization has dropped down into the 80s, which is pretty awesome. And we're up to 110, 115 FPS, right? It like, keeps bouncing in between there. So that's pretty darn cool. Like you're, we're seeing performance increase. So if you were in that case of seeing your GPU always maxed out and you wanted to have the same graphics quality settings and didn't want to turn it to low and whatnot, you will be seeing these types of performance increases, hopefully. You'll be able to see the jump in FPS while your GPU utilization goes down. All right, let's take a look at balanced real quick. So as you can see, it definitely got a lot less like resolution quality. It's not like it's blurrier. You do not also see any sort of performance increase FPS wise. Like I'm still sitting around 113, 115, but this is something I probably would not play. And then if we go to performance, which is the last one for 1440p, uh, uh, it, it is pretty bad. Like you can easily see stuff up close, looks really, uh, really clear, like all the lettering on the gas tank. Uh, even the guns and like your your hands still look pretty crisp for what they are, but once everything gets out into the distance, it gets pretty muddy. That's kind of just part of the LSS. You won't be seeing certain things load in as we'll go see in, in big red over here. We're gonna see some things that just don't load in. So uh, let's start off with going running around with performance since we're already on it. And we'll just keep an eye on, on stuff like look at those boxes. They start to disappear when we get just a little bit away. But then when we reappear, there they are. So it's it's things like that. Like it's it's trying the AI's real time rendering. Can you see these right here? Okay, there we go. These coils. They all get a lot bigger once you get close, but once you start getting a little bit away, they start to disappear. They're like virtually gone. We'll go back out here and at least turn on uh, TAA just to show you what this actually would look like. Oh, so let's look at these boxes again. So yeah, the boxes do disappear and then you come up on them, but they still stay in shape. Like you can still see the shape. They're not like, like disintegrating. So here's the bridge. We can see that here's some vehicles and then things start getting a little more dark up against the bridge. And then we, we were able to still see the, that van and kind of just get a gist of what things kind of are looking like render wise when they kind of load back in. Oops go quality. It actually looks a lot more sharp in my opinion. Like you're able to still see almost like a, a mid-level FX AA sharpness and 
kind of pick out things a little bit easier. So even if you're not in like, look at the road, you're able to see that a lot more. And I don't think the lighting has changed too much. We really, really quickly go back and try to change this. I don't think it's a lighting issue. Like, look at that. The lighting is still the same. It just seems to be able to pop you a little more if you're turning on uh, DLSS quality. So if you're wanting that almost even a, a little bit of sharper image, then you're able to actually get that through DLSS quality. Now we'll turn balance back on and run across the bridge here. Again, it just looks a little more soft to me. It's just the the extra little bit of uh, resolution drop that the, the AI is probably doing is probably going a little more into the 720p regions. If we go into the performance, lastly, it is, uh, ah, yeah, it's just, it's just not worth it. Looks pretty bad. Now let's actually run around here really quick. And again, if you really, really, really need this, and this is just how you're gonna have to play, then maybe it's worth it at 4K. You may be able to get at least a 1080p-ish image quality out of it, but I just don't think it's worth it. All right, so here's me inside of an actual raid. As you can see, I'm looking down pretty much the same corridor and I'm getting like 50 some FPS instead of like the 90s. I'm gonna be getting definitely lower FPS here, um, but as you can see, it is only in the 70s now. So it is interesting because now I'm at 63 FPS. So this is where I was kind of considering, well, maybe DLSS isn't gonna work for me especially in the sense of, hey, I'm just not even using my full GPU 3D rendering and I'm getting like in the mid 60s. So uh, this is where I wanted to at least test that for you guys really quick. Uh, we're gonna just change this over. Uh, whoops, we'll just change the NVIDIA DLSS on to quality, something I would want to use. And as we see, it's around 63, 65 FPS. So maybe a little bit extra. As you can see, the 3D render on the GPU is down to 57%. But just wanted to show that and show that my FPS isn't changing whatsoever when my GPU is not totally maxed out. Now, all right, this may look pretty picturesque, but like this is as nice as Tarkov could probably look. And we're running at 44 FPS right now in RAID. So if I die, this is gonna suck. But as you can see, here's all the settings. We're gonna just quickly switch over to quality and see what we get. And then we'll, I'll have to recompare all this stuff later. So we'll, we jump up to, oh my gosh, 65 FPS. Holy crap. And like, what's my GPU utilization? It's still in the hundreds. Okay. So we have room to improve, but this is the situation that I'm kind of talking about here. Yeah, there it goes. It goes below hundred now. We're still just roughly in the sixties. So um, mid sixties. So that's just that, just going to be that. But then yeah, you go down to performance. Dang, even performance still looks not bad. It's still, yeah, you can definitely see the resolution drop. But yeah, mid 60s still. All right, so hopefully you guys like this video. We had a lot of fun just testing out some DLSS, kind of seeing what it's gonna do for Tarkov and maybe if it's worth it for you. And I actually kind of like using quality, so I might just be using that for a while. Definitely give us a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And well, I'm gonna go and clean out my stash. We'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a good one, peace.